Peter Solly is a sculptor on fire. For two generations, Solly's family has operated a landmark muffler shop in Windsor, Ontario. But Solly's creative side was restless. So a few years ago, he decided to take things to a whole new level by creating an army of iron men. I used to build real small sculptures like 20 years ago, and uh, I didn't really promote them as much, and they didn't really take off. But then I decided to do these larger ones. Uh, my brother, he's Windsor, Windsor's only blacksmith, Chuck Sully from Windsor Art Metal. He uh, saw a book on these, someone's building them in the Midwest. So I started building them in Windsor, and they took off right away. Now folk art is his passion. Franken sculptures made with parts from dead cars are his specialty. Solly says it's creative recycling. Folk art, that's what it's called. So it's, it's art made of parts of the community and the city, like where you're from. So this is Windsor, blue collar town, automotive town, and we refix the cars here, and these parts come off the cars that we fix. Some have been sold, some have been given to charities for auctions and promotional tools. Some use the sculptures as lawn ornaments. Others use them to attract attention in front of their businesses. Everybody seems to want one. Everybody, from business owners to uh, for birthday parties, graduations, uh, retirement parties. Uh, I do caricatures of people in their line of work, whatever they want. Wineries, it just seems to be endless. Interest from the public has been overwhelming. In fact, Solly says even after sculpting over 200 of these with torches, pipe benders, and welding equipment, he hasn't even put a dent in the growing demand for his men of steel. Okay, first things first, we'll plug in the microphone. And I'll just get you to say your name so we have it on camera. Peter Solly. Okay. So Peter, what are you, what are you building here today? This one's a, a guitarist, it's gonna be a rock star. He has a nice long body, uh, because, so it's because the guitar takes up so much space for the guitar part of it, and he's got a big tall head, and he's gonna be like larger than life. Okay. What is it uh, that, that got you started doing all of this? There was, uh, I used to build real small sculptures like 20 years ago, and uh, I didn't really promote them as much, and they didn't really take off. But then I decided to do these larger ones. Uh, my brother, he's Windsor, Windsor's only blacksmith, Chuck Sully from Windsor Art Metal. He uh, saw a book on these, someone's building them in the Midwest. So I started building them in Windsor, and they took off right away. Everyone seemed to really like them. Uh, I can build them from any different kind of character you'd like to build. Uh, whatever people request, I usually build it for them. Where do you get your inspiration? Well, from the internet, from people's, uh, people's uh, whatever they tell me to do, from their, uh, their thoughts, their ideas. People tell me, kind of like they challenge me to it. So, you know, they'll say, have you ever made this? Have you ever made that? And I'll like make a Darth Vader, make a Michael Jackson, or make a Green Lantern. It's like, hey, whatever you want. Make a pirate or a whatever, the sky's the limit. And, and what materials do you end up using? Is it all new stuff or is it used stuff? It's mostly all used stuff. Uh, like you can see here, the, the, bo the bottom part of the legs, uh, the tubing there is new, unfortunately, because it's hard to come by used tubing like that, but the muffler bodies and the thighs and the heads, they're mostly used stuff. The rims are old wheels off of old cars that are no longer usable anymore, so I recycle the rims and use those, and uh, of course they're MIG welded together. Uh, the fingers and stuff from the hands, they come from my brother's uh, metal factory, they're left over from the railing, he makes the wrought iron railings and uh, they're used for the fingers and noses and whatever we decide to make them, body parts. And what do you use? Is it just different kinds of welding equipment? Torches, uh, torches grinders, chop saws, uh, MIG welders, gas welders. Uh, Who wants these? Everybody. Everybody seems to want one. Everybody from business owners to uh, for birthday parties, graduations, uh, Retirement parties. Uh, I do caricatures of people in their line of work. If they were, uh, if they were a mechanic, for instance, I'll make a mechanic. If they were a doctor or a dentist, I made a dentist with a big, huge mirror, uh, abstract mirror, and a big molar. 
just depends on the line of work. And usually put them in their restaurant owners, big pizza delivery people, pizza makers. Uh, I put them in their restaurants and in front of their place of business, furniture store owners, uh, whatever they want. Wineries, it just seems to be endless. Okay. And um, how long does it take you to make one of these? I guess it really depends on the project, right? It depends on the project. A lot of times it takes time to to, to round up the parts, to scrounge up the parts, that takes time. Certain shapes and pieces and sizes, you have to wait till you get them. And then when you get them, you put them away. But to make one, uh, usually to build it, usually takes four to eight hours to build it, just to build the metal part of it. And then you have to prep it, paint it, base coat it, and then detail it. So there's probably 20 hours involved in one, 20 solid hours, I would say. Some or more, just depends on the, how, how, how different they want it. And so I guess people could use these uh, as lawn ornaments or to promote their businesses? They could, yeah. Lawn ornaments, promote their businesses. When they're outside though, over time they rust because they're rusted old parts. Uh, if they want it to stay really nice, they need to keep it indoors or keep it out of the weather or the elements so it lasts longer. It'll last forever inside. Like I tell people sometimes when you buy a painting, to, you stick it outside or you, you put it in the house. Usually you put it on the wall in the house so it stays preserved. What about uh, fumes and things coming off the old car parts? You know what, that's a good question. Um, I haven't been asked that before, but I haven't had any, anyone complain about them. You know, usually they're dead and we blow them out, clean them out, so usually it's minimal. Yeah, there's not like any liquid, liquid into them, like so, any vapors, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do they sell for? Well, uh, the large ones, they start at about $300 and go up from there. I do uh, also do many charitable ones. I donate them for fundraisers for grade schools and cancer and brain aneurysms and all kinds of different fundraising things I do it for. I just got a thank letter today from a, a grade school and made them for them. They raised money, made them Michael Jackson. It was really cool. Is it art? Is it art? Yeah. It's called folk art. That's what it's called. So it's it's art made of parts of the community and the city, like where you're from. So this is Windsor, blue collar town, automotive town, and we refix the cars here. And these parts come off the cars that we fix. And some come from the wrecking yard too, we recycle them. I go to the wrecking yard and, and buy the pieces actually. So uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I guess it isn't lucrative enough to give up your, uh, your day operation. No, no, it's a, it's a hobby. It's more of a hobby, but it, it brings a lot of attraction to our business, which is fantastic. And uh, when people used to refer to us as the big muffler that's been there for 40 years, it spins around, but now we tell them the sculptures and like right away they know what we're talking about. So a lot of the kids really like it too. And uh, there's people a lot of times you see them out there taking pictures and stuff, which is it's great. It draws attention to the place. I love it. And this business has been here for generations. Yeah, this business is over 40 years old. This is second generation business. And uh, we've been in the city for over 40 years. All right, very cool. Is there anything else you'd like to add or think that I might be missing? Um, I'd like to show you those new ones over there. Sure, so, I can go over and get shots. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, what else can I say? Oh, that's probably good. Got it covered. Yeah. Okay, good.